Hi, year nine. This lesson, you're going to be looking at Christian attitudes towards capital punishment. Last lesson, you looked at the introduction of capital punishment and what it was. This week, you're going to be looking at Christian perspectives. And the week after half term, you're going to be looking at Islamic attitudes towards capital punishment. So your LO for this lesson is to be able to describe Christian views on capital punishment. So some of you might be thinking, why do people get punished? What is the point of it? So I'm going to talk about four reasons why people get punishment. And the first one being the theory of protection. So, for example, people get put into prison to protect society. Okay. Uh, the theory of retribution is to make someone pay for what they have done. The theory of deterrence is to put other people off doing crime. So to scare other people off doing other th uh, doing the same thing. The theory of reform is to punish someone so they become a better person. So I'm going to give you an example of each of these so you can understand it a little bit better. So an example of protection is prison. As you know, you are protecting society. An example of retribution is a death penalty that we looked at last lesson. An example of reformation is community service. So trying to give back to the community, trying to change that person as well. An example of deterrence is electronic tagging. So if you know that someone is a criminal, you can probably tell because they've got a tag on their ankle. And that would put people off doing the same crime because who would want to have that tag on them? test your knowledge a little bit i'm going to show you a series of six images what i want you to do is look at the image and i want you to figure out what kind of punishment it is so we've got prison fines community service electronic tagging the death penalty and lastly probation Look at each of these punishments and figure out what kind of punishments they are. So pause the video now. So you should have got for the first one, prison. Prison is a deterrence. It protects society and it tries to reform the criminal. Fines is a form of retribution and it's also re deterrence as well. It puts people off committing crime. Community service is trying to reform the criminal, it's retribution and it's deterring other people from committing the same crimes. Electronic tagging is a deterrence and it's protection as well to protect other people. The death penalty is deterrence, protection and retribution. Probation is reformation and deterrence as people probably can't live the same life with the same amount of freedoms that they have had. So you're going to now find out what Christians say about capital punishment and this is a task that you are going to upload to class charts. Can you go into class charts now and open up the link for the YouTube video? You're going to open up the YouTube video and you're going to watch it until 3 minutes 39 seconds. You are going to create a mind map from the information that you have learned. You're going to write down three, two things that you have learned from the video about Christian attitudes towards capital punishment, as well as two quotes from the video. So you should have four things on your mind map. That is just a minimum. You can do more things if you want to. Now your master task. Christians should not agree with capital punishment. What do you think and why? Once you have completed these tasks, can you take a picture of your tasks and upload it to class charts, please? You are going to play anagram for your plenary. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to class charts and you're going to click on the link that takes you onto word wall and play the game. The key words are from today's lesson. So there is an example on the PowerPoint right now. So the anagram was punishment. You've got 11 words to try and figure out. Good luck.